Internet. I am Christopher Chaos, and this is my iPhone show, the show that is created by simply using my iPhone. And today I'm going to run through iMovie for you guys. So today is June 24th. Today is the iPhone 4 release day, also the release day for iMovie. Now, I was able to pick it up off of iTunes last night, actually, on the 23rd. I noticed it on there. I don't know how long prior to that it was actually on there. Um, if you look in the Apple Store or the App Store through the iPhone, though, it's not showing up. So I don't know if that's something that will show up later or what. But um, as you just noticed, I was able to crop down the clip. So uh, actually the beginning of this clip got cropped down a little bit. And that last clip, I set it up on my fish tank, hit the record button, walked over to my position, talked, walked back to my iPhone, and turned it off. So you're easily able to uh, crop you know, what area of the video you want to use and everything like that. Um, just kind of like how the video kind of player worked in uh, 3GS and stuff too. Um, and then of course there's a transition from that last video into this one and then I can transition here into this next one. Now you still do need to leave a little bit of kind of like a buffer zone at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video if you're doing transitions. Otherwise it's just going to get cut off. Um, so maybe having a couple seconds will help or whatever. Otherwise, um, you know, if you, if you start talking right away or if you cut it off right immediately at where, uh, you know, you start talking or whatever the action's going on, you're probably going to miss about like two seconds or one second of uh, whatever was at the beginning or whatever was at the end. Um, some of the transitions are pretty limited and everything. There's themes and everything. This one's currently the news theme. Um, you don't really see anything right here, but it does if you throw it in there. Um, you can add in text, which you can only do text on that specific clip. So I can't just like all of a sudden, bam, uh, throw in some text right now and then have it end, you know, five seconds later. Um, it has to be during that whole entire clip from what I've noticed so far. Um, so let's go into the next transition and then I can show you um, some of that text and stuff. Okay, so here we have text. Um, my light just turned on automatically. I've got it set for auto. Um, it must be kind of low light. But you'll see the text down below. You can put in wherever you want. And this, since this is the news theme, it's got a kind of a news kind of a theme to the, uh, to the border of the text and everything. Um, there's about five themes, so you can choose between different themes and everything. And you have to use it on that one specific clip. So, I don't know, maybe there'll be an update, or maybe there is a setting, I just don't know. I've only been playing it for maybe about two or three hours now. So there could be a setting somewhere, but from what I've found so far, there isn't. You gotta pretty much have the text on that specific clip. And also the same goes for music. So on this next clip, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play some music from my friend Sanguine Addiction, a local band here in Colorado Springs, and uh, show you the limitations of the music portion of it. One thing I forgot to mention in that last clip before I get to the music part of it, um, to add the text, you have to kind of double tap on the timeline at the bottom of uh, iMovie to bring up the options. You bring up the options for um, adding text and then uh, also to turn the audio on and off for like that clip if you have like audio running on it. And um, then also you can also delete that clip if you, you know, make a mistake or whatever and you don't want to use that clip. You just drag it up to the, the preview window that's in the center and it just kind of, you know, it like crumples it up. It looks like a piece of paper being crumpled up and throws it off. Okay, so this clip was going to have music playing in the background for my buddy's Sanguine Addiction, but um, as I just discovered, I wasn't really too sure on this feature, but um, music basically has to be at the beginning of the video to the end. You can't just put it in the middle of the video and you can't crop down the, you know, the section of the song you want and play it that way. It's either the whole video or none of it. So that's kind of a bummer. I would kind of really wish that you could, you know, kind of add soundtrack in as you wish and stuff like that um, through the iPhone and everything. So that's kind of a, a downfall um, with that. So. so you can also throw in pictures. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of something around here in the yard and throw it in after this clip. And you know you can have music playing over it, but you can't like I don't narrate over it or anything like that. So it's just kind of be like a like a bam kind of a thing. Like hey, check out this picture. So you kind of see it kind of moved and everything. You kind of have the ability to kind of have it start from one position and then move to another. And uh, you can do that with like larger pictures. You can even zoom in and make it kind of like zoom into an area and everything too. Um, with the ability of multitasking, I was easily able to go from the editor, because I'm doing this actually, I'm editing it in the iMovie as I'm filming it, that's also another option you can do. But I was able to go from editing it to the camera, take the picture, and come back into iMovie and then import the picture in. So the multitasking for it works great for iMovie and everything. Okay, so now down to the gist of what I think of this uh, application and everything. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty basic and I understand kind of why, I mean, you can't really fill it with too much stuff, otherwise it's probably just gonna you know, bog down the iPhone or whatever. Um, there's still a lot of things I would like to be able to see though. I would like to be able to see the ability to add the music in at a specific point, 
um, text, you know, not being limited to the beginning of a video or the beginning of a clip. Um, it's still kind of limited. I mean, it has, it has a few themes and everything. You can choose to have no theme at all if you wish. Um, but it has like about like five right now. I'm sure probably more will come out later and everything and upgrades and stuff. But um, it, I mean, it gets the job done. It does some basic stuff. It does give you the option to either um, do like I'm doing right now. I'm actually going filming as I go and you add the video into the timeline, add your effects in as you go. Or if you pre-film stuff, you know, out and about or whatever like that, then you can take those video clips from your um, from your library and your phone and throw those in there. Um, the music comes from your iTunes library, so whatever you have in there, you just throw in there, but it has to be the whole video and everything. But um, all in all, I'd probably give it maybe three out of five stars. I mean, it's great for basics, but it does still have a lot of limitations and everything. Um, make sure you use the rear camera for it, because if you use the front-facing camera, it's not going to be full quality. Only the camera on the back is the uh, HD camera. And um, But otherwise, I mean, it's great. It's $4.99 and it's only limited to the iPhone 4. So iPhone 3GS and 3G or anything else will not work. Only an iPhone 4 will be able to work with uh, this version of the app for iMovie. So there you go, there's a little glimpse into how iMovie works for the iPhone 4. Um, please be sure to subscribe if you like my videos and everything and I'll try to post, you know, different stuff. Now they got the iPhone 4 and iMovie and I can edit and everything like that. You know, there's a lot more possibilities of stuff that people can do with their iPhone, with simply, you know, a cell phone in general and everything. But um, thanks for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos, and this is my iPhone show. See you guys.